Hi and welcome to this video where we'll be creating a range slider control. So in this video we'll be creating four variants of our range slider control, each with a unique placement of its control knobs, center, left, right and fitted. And then we'll use the prototype tool to connect those knobs and the final result of our interactive components will look like this if we click the knob and drag it left or right should be dragged or back to its previous position. All right, let's begin our tutorial. Before we jump into this tutorial, let me tell you about Master UI Plus. It's the ultimate Figma design system with over 200 interactive components. You can create amazing user interfaces in no time. Just drag and drop to get fully interactive components in your prototypes. And the best part, you can get 40% off if you click the link in the description. All right, let's get back to our tutorial. Start by creating a new design file, rename it to range slider control, pick the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle of about 300 pixels of width and 8 pixels of height. Let's change this to 300. Let's give it a border radius 25 pixel. Zoom in. Let's lighten a bit its gray color. And then hit Command C and Command V to duplicate and change its color to a blue. This will be the activated part of our range slider control. Let's click from the right side and drag to the center. And again from the left side, drag to the center. And let's keep its width to 60 pixels all right that's great next let's pick the ellipse tool and let's hit the shift key click and drag draw 16 pixel by 16 ellipse tool and align it to the to the left of this activated part and change its color to the same blue and hit command c and command v to duplicate and let's align it to the right side that's great. Zoom back, select all my shapes and create component. Then let's start by creating four variants. This is the first one, third and the fourth. So with the first variant, I'm going to move this knob back to the left side and this can move it also to the end of the left side. Then with the third variant, I'm going to move this to the right side also this activated part I'm gonna drag it to the right with the last variant I'm gonna move this to the right drag this to to the far right this to the far left move this to the far left right that's great now select the component frame and rename it to range slider control and in appropriate let's say it's sitting and let's rename it to direction and this will be center, the second one will be left, the third will be right, and the last one will be full. All right, now let's go to our prototype panel and let's connect all those knobs together. So we we'll start with the first knob of my first variant. Let's connect it with the second variant. Let's pick on drag and smart animate. I will connect my second knob of the first variant with the third variant and let's pick on drag make sure it is smart animate next moving to my second variant and the first knob I will connect it with the first variant on drag and smart animate and then the second knob with the third variant on drag and smart animate. Next, my third variant will connect the first knob with the last variant on drag, smart animate. And the second knob will connect it with the first one on drag and smart animate. All right, here we go. Let's connect this one. This one was connected with the last one instead. Now, connect the left with the first variant on drag, 
and the right of the last volume with the first volume. And drag and smart animate. All right, there is a lot of connection here. And let's see our final result. Create a new frame. And let's go to assets and drag our slider control, select frame and hit the play button. Now let's see if we drag this knob to the left, right it works, and this to the right works. Let's drag this back. Right, we have a problem. All right, let's go back and see the thing in the food. This is the problem. My problem is here. Now let's change this to the second variant and this the third variant. Let's see. Drag back. It works. All right. Thanks for joining me for this tutorial. You can find the download link to the exercise file of this tutorial in the description down below. And if you are looking for more interactive components, then you should check out Master UI Plus. Everything you need will be at your fingertips when it comes to interactive components. And this will make your design process faster and more efficient. And one last thing, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.